Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Scrapman, bringing you another episode of Trailmakers, and today we are back in the Happy Holiday Winter Wonderland, and uh, I think we've got some new presents to find. I think I might see some over there that are new. There, I think there's three this week. So what we're going to do is we're going to see if we can figure out which presents are which, what they are, and then we're going to see what we can do with them. I don't really know what to expect. So let's spawn in. Um, I guess the snowmobile is going to make the most sense for this one. There we are. All right. So let's explore and see if I was right about I think. Oh, wait. Are these all three of them in one spot right here? I think this is our Christmas tree. We got our Christmas tree and there's one. Well, let's see what it is first. Chrome bumper detail. Okay, number two. I I missed. I totally missed number two. All right, number two is chrome bumper. Okay, and are they all part of like a chrome bumper series? Let's see here. Number three. Chrome bumper rounded end. All right, let's check out what these things look like and see if we can come up with anything creative to do with these. All right, so here they are. Uh, we don't really have like a bumper area to test these out. So I'm just going to delete that and we'll put them there. So let's just go with Chrome Bumper first. All right, let's delete these. These are kind of obstructing our view here. All right, so there's part of the Chrome Bumper. So these are all part of a set. So these are is Chrome Bumper detail. Oh, okay. I see. I see how that's going. And then you got like the... Let's put... Let's make this symmetrical. Let's put that over here now. And we'll put this where it's supposed to be on the end. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, oh, that's not what I thought it was. I thought this was going to attach on the end like that, but no, this attaches like uh, this. Oh, okay. And then we just copy that over to this side. So there you have a chrome bumper on a snowmobile. We've got a snowmobile with a completely unnecessary chrome bumper on the front. Let's see what happens if we bump something with the chrome bumper. <laughs> we explode. So the bumper is in the bumper's accessory, and I'm noticing uh, I got a little hint as to what next week, two out of the three of next week's uh, presents are going to be. Because next week, starting on the 17th, I think there's going to be new presents that we can unlock. And uh, two of them are right here, found in the danger zone during December. These ones are ones I haven't found uh, for other reasons. But this means we should also be able to find out what's the third present going to be. Aha, I found it. So the third present is going to be an ornament. And you can see it right there. I'm looking at it. I don't know what it is. I mean, that's a shape of some sort, but I can't figure out the shape. So if you have an idea, maybe leave a comment below. So bumpers, though. What should we make with these bumpers? Uh, last week, we got the snowball thrower. And we made an avalanche launcher with that thing. So this week we got chrome bumpers. And what these are inspiring me to make is what if we try to make a blinged out Santa sleigh? But let's make a Santa sleigh and we'll actually try to make it fly. I'm not going to do reindeer for this episode because that's going to make things a little bit more complicated. But maybe that can be like a part two of the Santa sleigh where we actually put like a whole section of all the reindeer to help it fly through the air as well. But uh, let's get building and see what we can do with the bumpers uh, to kind of inspire the Santa sleigh idea.
Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to um, not the flying product, but kind of like this, the, the basic aesthetic product that also happens to be able to drive forward and backwards. I don't have any turning in it yet. I didn't want to put turning uh, hinges down there because I figured it would make the wheels look even weirder. I'm trying to hide them, kind of. But uh, overall, I think it's looking awesome so far. We got the uh, chrome bumpers on the front and on the back, even with a nice white mustache in honor of uh, Santa Claus there. We got the golden skis on the bottom, the nice red actual sleigh itself. Got a skull and crossbones in the back. We got the air intake next to the engine in the back there. Um, so, oh, and I don't know why I decided to put like a chrome bumper on the inside too. It kind of almost feels like a dashboard of like a car. I don't know. I just wanted to use the chrome bumper more since that was the new part. But overall, I'm loving the way that this, that this thing looks. The tough part is gonna be figuring out how to make it fly. We might have to add wings to this thing and stuff like that, so I'm not too sure what to expect. I don't want to ruin the aesthetic of it too much, so we might have to use um, the gimbal jets to help us get up in the air rather than pure aerodynamic powered lift. Oh, we also got some horns. Just in case uh, any reindeer are getting in Santa's way up there in the skies. So that's kind of fun. All right, so now we have the trial and error process of seeing if we can get this thing to fly. I got to figure out where I'm going to put thrusters, where I'm going to put the gimbals and things like that. So uh, let's hope that this works. All right, we got the first test of the gimbals. I put three in the back and two in the front since I'm assuming that the back is going to be heavier. And holy cow. First test. It seems really well balanced. And it goes up, which is great. Look at that. All right, so now the other tough part is going to be balancing the center of thrust so we can actually start going forward. And then the challenge after that is going to be turning. I don't know how that's going to work yet. Okay, so I put the thrusters right in the back there. I feel like that's above the center of mass, so it might give us a tendency to pitch forward, but there's only one way to find... Oh, and it adds a lot of... I forgot about that. The, th the thrusters weigh a lot, and that just added a whole bunch of mass to the back there. So here, I'm gonna actually duplicate one of those gimbals. Now we got four in the back. I don't know if that's gonna be enough. Let's see if it is. Okay, it is. It is. All right, now let's go ahead and activate the thrust, and yeah, that's what I was afraid of right there. You can clearly see it wants to pitch us forward. So either we need to come up with an aerodynamic solution or we have to move those thrusters down somehow. We might be able to move them down if we create like holes in the uh, floor there. But hold on a sec, can we land this? We actually have control with just the seat uh, rotation. Oh, 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 dang it. All right, so now comes the hard part of um, fine tuning fine-tuning things to make it work. So let's go ahead and move these down by two. There we go. And we got to fill this stuff in. All right, so I moved them down by two. I haven't put in like an actual floorboard in the back there. So there's just kind of like this weird hole where I put the thrusters. But first I want to see, our, did we go below our center of mass or are we relatively centered now with as far as our thrust goes? So let's go up in the air and let's go on forward. That looks good. That's really good. And we can even just, we have, we don't have a lot of control over our turning, but you can see it definitely works. Can we actually, can we pitch ourselves down? We can pitch ourselves down and we can pitch ourselves back. Oh, backflip. Oh, no, not quite. The gimbals are going to override that. All right, well, let's get back to our winter wonderland because we're in a sleigh and uh, that's, where Santa, that's where Santa belongs. All right, but well, the question is, are we going to be able to land ourselves without breaking our sleigh? And... Dang it. Wait, 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 wait. Dang it. Yeah, the, the wheels are a little bit, little bit uh, close to the middle there, so it's kind of hard to stay upright, but the wheels aren't really the primary mode of transportation. All right, so let's fill this back in and make it look nicer. I think that's looking okay so far. I had to raise the floor up a little bit to enclose the thrusters in there. I wish there was a way we could make this stuff not stand out so much, but I can't think of anything right now. So let's see if our flying ability has been affected by the addition of the floor. All right, we can still go up in the air and... We go pretty well on a straight trajectory. 
So the only thing right now is just turning is really slow. We could do better with the turning, and the easiest way to deal with that is the helicopter servo method. And I might actually be able to hide a helicopter servo in there, so it's not actually showing. Uh-oh. Oh, can we land it this time? I This is not looking promising. This is really... Not looking promising right now. Wait, 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 wait. No, no, no. This is good. This is good. This is looking good. This is looking good. Oh, no, no, no. I got this. I got this. Come on, Santa. The kids need the presents. Yes. All right. Successful landing. I don't think we broke anything. We're on our wheels. We haven't flipped over. Now I got to figure out where I'm going to put this servo. Let's just uh, move this. You know what? For this, I'm actually going to do helicopter engine version 2. And then the top and the bottom will be attached. And we don't have to worry about, like, the top of this one kind of flopping around all over the place. So let's hope that this works the same. And it sh just shouldn't be connected or colliding with anything else. So let's put this back. Perfect. All right, we go up. And we should be able to press... Oh, that's the wrong direction. But that works great. That works great. I just have my controls reversed is all. Oh, this is awesome. This is turning out way better than expected. All right. Uh, oh, I, I, I just really got to adjust my controls. Hold on a second here. Oh, no, Santa. <laughs> you know what I realized I should be doing here? I got to change my character colors. This is not the color of, of Santa Claus right here. If I'm going to be Santa Claus driving this sleigh, how do we do this? There we go. Now we got the red suit and the white scarf, which, I mean, Santa doesn't really wear a white scarf, but. All right. Now we should be good. Let's, uh, go ahead and stable out a little bit here. We- oh, wait. The helicopter servo, I think, added a little bit of weight to the front. So, right, left. Let's go forward. That's feeling decent. This feels really good, actually. The only thing is that it tends to... It tends to lean a little bit forward, naturally, when we're just trying to hover there. Let's see if we can move this back at all. I think we can. And then what I can also do is adjust one of these gimbals back here to have less power. And that'll prevent my back end from lifting up too much. And it also might make the uh, lift a little bit less strong, which could be a good thing. Alright, I like that. That's looking good. That's looking good. So now if I pitch up and go... Oh, look at this! This is excellent! We stay upright. I mean, we can kind of go up and down as we please. Uh-oh. Let's go ahead and turn around here. I totally did that on purpose. And the only thing about this right now... Well, actually, let's see. On land, can we turn using just the helicopter servo? I'm guessing no. All right. Here, whoa. Whoa. Soft landing, please. Ow. 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 All right. Let's see. I'm going to go forward and turn left. No, it slightly works. It's not the greatest for sure. But it definitely is better than nothing. We totally have like an awesome tricked out Santa sleigh here. It's got hover capabilities. It's got flying thrust capabilities. It's got chrome bumpers. It's got a mustache. It's got beefy horns. It's got the gold uh, skis. Oh, I didn't even, didn't even point that out before, but it's got some uh, nice... Uh, tailpipes underneath. It's got brake lights. It's got the skull and crossbones. It's got the air intake. It's got the gimbal jets. And it's even got some headlights in the front there. So I say that this sleigh has actually turned out way better than I even expected it to. Is there any... Oh, 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 oh. Alright, so yeah, I'm, I'm gonna make sure I save this thing so I don't lose it because I keep crashing it and not getting it back. But, uh, oh, hey, hey. Oh, wait, you're not an elf. You're not a Ganelf. You're a gnome. I was going to say it's one of Santa's elves and he should hop on in here. But uh, he's 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 a gnome, not an elf. Uh, you okay there, buddy? You, you doing okay there? Hey. Wh wake up. <laughs> wake up. Hello. Is... Oh. Um... I guess he's not going to be getting any presents this year. All right, so we have our sleigh now, and I think there's only one thing left to do is uh, some stunts with this thing. Let's see if we can take this sleigh on the loop over here. 
We got to bring Santa out of his uh, winter wonderland for a little while. And we got to go on over to the main area. Oh, look how easy this thing is to control. <laughs> Everything's fine. This is perfect. This is all normal. I feel like maybe I should add like a tail fin or something just to give me some some kind of stable trajectory as I gain forward momentum. I don't know. It's not completely necessary. Oh, but all right. Maybe can we like land now? Hold on. Hold on. Uh, uh, okay, this isn't working out very well. Hold on. Uh, <laughs> just straighten out, please. There we go. All right, turn. This is going to be so hard to keep this thing upright on this loop. I don't know how we're going to do this. I really don't. But I'm not going to use the gimbal jets at all for this. I'm going to use my jets to get, to get myself some speed, but I am not going to use the gimbals. I don't even know how they would help me anyway, but let's see if we can do a loop with Santa's sleigh. All right, here it goes. Uh-oh. Uh Apparently this... Oh. <laughs> Why does it repair only just the seat whenever it blows up? But apparently the jets are not as strong as I thought, so maybe we should get more of a run up to it, which I'm afraid is gonna not be nearly as stable. All right, here we go. We're going for it. Full speed ahead. Full speed ahead, please. This is not fast. This is really not fast. You know what I mean? You know what that means? It needs more thrusters. That's what it means. And let's just hope that three is enough, because I can't really fit any more thrusters in here. All right, here we go. I don't care if the road's closed. We're going on this hoop. All right, well, this is much faster. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. Oh, oh, no. <laughs> okay, we have just barely enough speed to keep contact with the loop. We may have gone off just a little bit, but now we're just gonna make sure I'm turning enough. What is happening to my character? What is happening to... <laughs> I don't know how this happened, but I am I am okay with it. That is awesome. This is gonna get even crazier on this loop with my character just go not only is he no hands, but he's like hardly he's standing in his seat. Alright, oh I forgot to keep picking up speed. Please don't fall over. Go. Go. Oh no. Alright, that was not a good uh oh. Uh oh. Ow. Alright, please repair the whole thing. Dang it. It's only giving us the seat back. It's gonna take a little bit more precision. I gotta hit it at just the right angle so that we can stay in line with the loop the whole time. Here we go. Here we go. Slight adjustments. Slight adjust. No. Okay, that's stupid. That's too much. This is not working. There's nothing I want more right now than to see Santa's sleigh complete the loop. Go, 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 go. Oh! We were on track there too. We just didn't stick it enough. We need more speed. I think speed is the thing that we need more of. And you know what? Why don't we try more speed with our wheels? If we add another engine in here, that might actually give us that little bit of extra boost. There we go. We got two more engines in there. Let's see how much faster we're going to go with this. I haven't been looking at my top speed, so I don't have any reference point to really judge by. But we'll see what happens. All right, well, we're way faster on the ground. I'm just tapping it right now. And, oh, that's actually... There's a downside to that. We're much more prone to tipping now with our wheels. All right, well, here we go. Let's see if we can maintain a much faster speed now. Go, go, go. Oh, don't go off the edge. Don't go off the edge. Oh, yes. Yes. Oh. It worked. And now we can fly on... Oh, we're way heavier in the back now. <laughs> But we can fly on off and um, deliver our sick tricks to all of the kids across the world and put on a show. Because maybe that's the kind of present this Santa delivers as a stunt show. Look at this. This is awesome. All right, well, let me know down in the comments. Should we um, make some reindeer for this thing? I don't even know how that would work. Like, the reindeer couldn't really be that big. And we only have a limited amount of, like, detail we can put with the blocks. So... Let me know in the comments. I can still try it, and uh, we can even use the reindeer as the source of thrust, but we're definitely going to have to add some aerodynamics onto this thing if that's what we do. And let's see if for the end of this episode I can get myself into, into this hoop here. It's not happening. Okay, let's just crash into the ground then. Here we go. Bye, Santa.
So leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed Santa's sleigh here. I'm looking forward to next week when we can get our final presents and see what kind of creativity that can inspire. Make sure you're subscribed if you have not already for some crazy stuff like this. Anyway, this has been Scrapman, and I'll see you next time. Bye.